Hey y'all, welcome to a wild little thing Wednesday on Uncle Bub's Bell Buckle Bear Fuse. Um, usually it's a wet your whistle Wednesday, but we've, we've got some uh, Sierra, Nevada, Sierra Nevada's Little Thing series that we're doing, and today is a wild little thing. It's slightly sour ale brewed with uh, guava, hibiscus, and strawberry. Alright, it's a 5.5% ABV. Wild little thing. And uh got a piece of glue on it. What the heck? I'm come off the box, I guess. Um I got a mixed 12 pack of Sierra Nevada's brews. Ooh, that's got a nice little pink tint to it. Look at that. Sure does. Um I got a mixed 12 pack of Sierra Nevada's brews. Uh because I'd never had, I'd, there was three of them in there that I'd never had before. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, the, the hazy little thing I have tried and enjoyed it. But uh, I picked these up and said, well, I'll just review these. Let's see what we got there. Nice little pink tint to the head. A uh, little bit hazy. A little bit hazy. You can still see through it, but it's it's got a good little haze to it. Man, my nose must be stopped up. I don't feel like it. I can breathe pretty good, but I am sure not catching any kind of aroma off that. That gummit. I hate that. Got a nice little tartness to the head there, but I about let it go away. I didn't get much of a taste of the head. Um and and alright, so this is a slightly sour ale, and I can deal with that. I'm not big on the super sour stuff. I, 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 I can handle a little tartness in my brew, but I'm not real heavy. I don't real really like the, the super sour stuff. Now, I say that, and uh, somebody was telling me about the, the Victory Sour Monkey, and uh, I was like, man, I don't know. It's a, I think it's a 9% ABV, I think, something like that. It's, it's a high ABV in that one. And, uh, I, uh, you know, there were several people at work, and I'd seen it reviewed, and several people at work had told me about it and everything, and I was like, well, fine, I'll, I'll try it. And actually, it wasn't as sour as I thought it was going to be, but it was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. So anyway, that being said, um, this has a little tartness in the head. Um, I don't think it'll probably be too tart. Uh, but anyway, this uh, wild little thing, slightly sour ale is for all american workers hey i love and appreciate y'all thank you for the hard work that you do day in and day out to provide for yourselves and your families pay your own way and support our economy cheers brothers and sisters uh, all right so This is not my thing. <laughs> I tell you right now, it's not bad, um, but it's not delicious either. It does not really have a a super delicious flavor to me. Um, I'm barely getting any strawberry out of it. I guess I'm getting more of the guava hibiscus, and it's just it's not too tart. I mean, the tartness is fine. It's just, the flavor is just it's just not for me y'all it's just not my cup of tea um, I'm gonna I'm gonna personally score this one uh, a B um, because it's not it's not terrible it's not undrinkable it's it, and you know somebody else my wife would probably really enjoy this um, because it's mild, it's got a mild little tartness to it. It's it's got a mild mild flavor. The flavor is just not. It's just not beer quality to me. I'm gonna I'm gonna score a B minus. Um, uh, just not my thing. Not that it. I'm not gonna pour it out. I'm gonna drink it, but it's just not real my flavor preference. Put it that way. All right, y'all. So. That's been a wild little thing Wednesday. Uh, I'll probably give the other two of these I've got to my wife. <laughs> All 
I'll be back tomorrow for a Tennessee Thirsty Thursday. I got a brew that my little brother gave to me a couple weeks ago, so we're going to try it tomorrow. So y'all stay tuned for that. Love and appreciate y'all. Cheers.